we are going to install and start using the VTune profiler and we will show that step by step. There are some prerequisites that we need to definitely meet before we go ahead and use the Intel VTune profiler. We need to install the Intel VTune profiler 2021 or later versions. The link is provided right in front of you for your reference. I can also share this in the chat. You need Intel One API DPC++ compiler as well. This is one of the prerequisites that you must follow. We must have the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE as well. Now, you have the URL here with which you can go ahead and download the VTune profiler installation file based on the operating system of your choice. We are going to go ahead with the complete installation right now and the operating system that we have selected is Windows. The clear guidelines are available in the installation page as I have already shared it with you. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead with setting up the environment variables appropriately and I will show you that procedure as well. It is an important step to be followed and let's go ahead and understand each and every step. Now in this page, you have got the clear information. So please give your business email ID and you can download the VTL profiler. You can go ahead with the option for installation. Once it is done, go to this path where you have the VARS file, VARS file available and please double click it. It will take care of all the environment variables setting up process and within few seconds, you will be able to get this accomplished. This is a very important step without which you may find it difficult to use the VTune profiler. Now, once it is done, just type VTune profiler in the uh, start window. You will be able to get the VTune profiler launched very clearly and it may take few seconds for the launch to happen. The moment you see it, you will find it very comfortable for you to use it. The configure analysis option when you click will take you to the configure analysis page where you need to wait for a couple of seconds and it will give you the clear picture. You will get a performance snapshot option and just click run button. By default, we have got a file available there. That file is going to be analyzed and you will get the complete picture about that particular file. It's a matrix multiplication file that we have got inside and you can feed in your own files as well for you to analyze with VTM profiler. So you can see that it takes a little bit of time for the analysis, but that time is worth waiting. You will get a plethora of information and this information will be really helpful for you to analyze where your CPU is wasting time, where your CPU is performing, where it can be improved, GPU level information, thread level information, all this will come to you. It may take few seconds for the complete analysis to be done and you can also watch the elapsed time in front of you in the bottom line of the uh, presentation and you will be able to understand that it gives you the complete time frame as well. So it's going to be very easy for people to use it and I will show you the complete pictures once the analysis is complete. Well, it is time that you will get the results in front of you right now and the data collection is completed successfully message has come in front of you. It is finalizing the results and in few seconds, you will be able to get plethora of information about the code, about the uh, thing that you have analyzed. You can see that we have got a clear summary available right in front of you. This is a summary. I repeat, we can go into in-depth analysis a little later. It gives you elapsed time. You need to just hover around with the mouse on the topic that you want to analyze. For an instance, time, elapsed time details can be obtained very clearly and a brief description of the particular analysis data is also presented to you for your easier understanding. You can see that right now, this will help you in understanding what is that data, why is that important and what kind of improvement can it give you. So logical core utilization, 91.5%, 7.3 to 1 out of 8 is what is presented and micro architecture usage with furthermore information including L1 bound, L2 bound, L3 bound, all these details are presented to you and each topic when you click on the question mark, you will be able to get a very clear description about what it is. Memory bound details are also presented, the cache bound, DRAM bound details are presented to you, vectorization detail and GPU active time is also presented. Next, when you come to the left hand side, as you can see, you can select any particular topic over there and I am selecting the hotspot right now. Now you need to run it again, launch the application again and you need to run it again to get the results. You can see that I am doing the same process and once you select run button, you will be able to get the details that are provided to you right in front of you. I am just clicking the default details which are available. You are free to select, you are free to unselect some options. Just click the start button. The moment you do it, it will go on analyzing and you will get the results about the hotspots. I have already told you what hotspot is and this information will help you in understanding things much better about where your CPU is spending most amount of the time. This information is really very useful for people who go and analyze and understand their code much better, who want to understand it in a much better way and that's what is going to be given now. It may take a little bit of time but that's okay. You will get a lot of very good information about your code 
which will definitely make you feel like wow this is my it is time that we are going to get the results it's almost 95 seconds like the last time this is going to take at least 95 to 100 seconds that are, that is what you are seeing in front of you and we will get the results available in front of you the data collection is complete the finalizing results message has come in front of you and don't worry about warnings we can ignore that and you will get the results about the hotspot right in front of you this is the summary you get the complete elapsed time detail what is the cpu time and top hotspots this section will give you the detail of the top hotspots the histogram displays a percentage of the wall time the specific number of cpus were running simultaneously uh, this is a very important information and this histogram is very useful and collection and platform info which platform are you using which is the operating system what is the computer name start time end time cpu details all these are presented to you as a summary now you can go with the bottom up analysis you can analyze hotspots and their colors very clearly using this so you get the complete information and you can expand that arrow further to get the detail then you can analyze hot subtrees as well the color collie information is available here you can go ahead with the analysis of the subtrees and you can extend expand each of this and that will be very useful you can analyze hotspots and their colleagues using the top down tree approach as well and you can see the complete information graphically presented in a very rich way you can analyze hotspots and their colleagues even with flame graph options which are presented to you and that's also available here and you can try it out and in case you find it any difficult you can reach us out and we will be able to provide information the platform is going to analyze cpu gpu and bandwidth usage with the platform metrics and the thread id is presented to you for the reference it's it's all based on the thread id that you can observe what is the data what is the uh, what are all the stats that we can get about that particular thread is all presented right in front of you these many information are presented to you just with the hotspot analysis this is one of the features we get more and we will talk about it it is time for us to go ahead and check the next available option for us yes we are going to test the memory access we are going to measure metrics which can help you in identify memory access related issues okay so this type of analysis is hardware based hardware even based sampling collection and this will help you with understanding the memory details very clearly and that's what we are going to do right now we will get a clear report when you run it i'm taking the same file as you can see the matrix.exe which is a default file which is given for sample out here you can test with your own file now what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch the application by selecting the appropriate file and start is done it will take some time for you to get the result hopefully it is about 90 to 95 seconds normally it takes for all this kind of analysis and that is worth the wait as i have already told you and we will get plethora of information related to memory access you will get a summary you will get detailed in-depth analysis on further subtopics as well which i am going to show you right now it is time for us to go ahead and see the results the execution time is 152 seconds this time and you got a message right on the screen saying that data collection is completed successfully and the results finalization is being done right now you may get some warnings but you do not have to really bother about it you will get results in front of you in next few seconds and that will help you understand the complete memory related understanding of your file let's wait for a few seconds so that we get the complete results loaded in front of you yes we are getting it complete and you can see the progress and we will get the results right in few milliseconds right now we are getting the results and it's almost ready you will get the detailed analysis right in front of you now as i already have told you it may take few seconds but it doesn't matter the results will be really awesome yes we have got the results and the summary is presented to you right now elapsed time bandwidth utilization all these details are summary we are yet to go in depth details go to in depth details and that can be analyzed a little later you get a complete bandwidth utilization histogram it will help you in identifying the memory objects or the functions which has utilized the most of the memory and latency histogram is presented to you as well which will talk about the distribution of loads per latency you got the platform information as well we can go to bottom of details where you can analyze bandwidth over time very clearly and it's getting loaded right now you have to wait for a few seconds and once it is done you will get clear information with the bottom of summary as well you can expand each and everything over here and you can get more and more details including the memory bound details the load store activity the llc miscount all these details are available here and platform it will help you in getting more detailed analysis and that's getting loaded right in front of you uh, you will get the thread id which can help you in tracking each and individual threads as well 
as I have shown you in the previous analysis as well, this platform is going to give you more detailed information and this will help you understanding how exactly this is using the memory. So you can go through it and in case you have any questions in that, we will be able to help you further.